In this video right here, I'm gonna walk you through on how to enable MediaShare via CloudBot. Plus, I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs so that way you know exactly what you're doing, so that way you become a master. Let's go. Hey, what is going on, all you awesome streamers? I'm back, Wild here to help you become bigger and better. Let's jump right in the video and go straight over to the computer. And the very first thing that we're gonna discuss is how to add a MediaShare widget to your Streamlabs desktop. First, open up your sources section and click the plus sign in Streamlabs OBS. Then click on MediaShare and name it whatever you like. Most people just leave this named as MediaShare, but you do what's best for you and your stream. Now, when you add your widget, you can adjust any settings. You can also do this in the dashboard on streamlabs.com, but we'll get into a few more details on that in just a moment. Now click done and your MediaShare widget is now in your Streamlabs desktop. Also a good thing to note is that if you're using different software to stream to like OBS Studio, XSplit or something similar, you will also need to copy and paste the widget URL into your scene as a browser source. Now let's talk about enabling the media sharing in the dashboard. Now that you've added your widget to Streamlabs desktop, you need to enable it on the dashboard. First, visit streamlabs.com and log into the dashboard. Now on the left hand side of the dashboard, click on all widgets, then click on media share. You'll now be on the media share settings page here. Click enable on the top right of the page. After enabling media share, a pop up will ask you to choose between auto show videos or auto hide videos. Auto show is great for streamers with moderators that can filter the content before it's shown live auto hide is great for streamers who don't have moderators or want to play with media manually. You can change these settings later from the recent events tab where you'll manage all of the media that will be sent to you. Let's go over the preferences really quick. Like we said earlier, you can make adjustments on streamlabs.com if you go under the media share dashboard. You can make adjustments to price per second, subscribers price per second, minimum amount to share, max duration, buffer time, spam security, media progress bar. And if you ever get confused on what any of these do, don't worry, we got your back. Simply just hover the little question mark and it'll tell you exactly what that option does so you know to make the right adjustment for you. When it comes to adding media share via CloudBot, it's super easy to do. And we actually recommend you give it a try because it's a great way to make people in your stream participate a little bit more. The first thing you'll wanna do is make sure CloudBot is enabled. Navigate to CloudBot dashboard on streamlabs.com and toggle it on right here. Next, head to your Twitch channel and mod Streamlabs by typing in slash mod Streamlabs in the chat. Then visit the command section in CloudBot dashboard and click on default. When someone types exclamation point request with a link to a video, it will now appear in a queued media area. Okay, so let's just say you have all these video requests coming in. You're probably wondering, how do I manage the media? When all your media sharing requests come in, you can find the queue in your dashboard under the recent events tab. Click on media share from the options at the top and all of the videos sent to you are in the pending media section. Click on the green check mark to add them to your queued media. Pending media is where videos will first appear when a tip or CloudBot request is received. Reviewing videos is an excellent task for any moderator to handle. If you want somebody to help you out with media share while you're streaming, perhaps a moderator or administrator, you first have to grant them permission. To grant permission to an account, go to my account, shared access, and click the create invitations option. Please note they will require at least moderator rights to share media. A little quick tip from me to you is make sure you choose people that you truly can trust because whatever is shown on your stream, you're responsible for. So make sure you have a little bit of a process to choose and select the correct moderators that are looking out for your best interests. Now, when you have it all set up, the good part is you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the laughs that are coming your way through all the awesome videos that your community is sending to you. I hope this video was helpful, it enlightened you, and more importantly, it showed you how quickly and fast 
you can get media sharing running for you. If you need any more help with anything Streamlabs related, hey, that's what I'm here to help you out with. Gonna toss a couple of videos here up on screen. They're gonna make you bigger and better with Streamlabs. Wild wishing you the best of luck. Take care, and of course, peace.